the, about the last six or seven lines at the bottom of page 52. Machiavelli says, if one considers the virtue of Agathocles in entering into and escaping from dangers, and the greatness of his mind in standing up to and overcoming adverse things, one does not see why he should have to be judged inferior to any of the most excellent captains. Nevertheless, his brutal cruelty and inhumanity and his infinite wickednesses do not allow that he be among the most excellent celebrated men. But what is the qualification here that Machiavelli is making? Was it, would it be the uh, comparison or juxtaposition between uh, being successful and being excellent and celebrated? I, th I think that points us in the right direction. Does Machiavelli say in the passage that I just read that cruelty and wickedness disqualify you from being accounted a virtuous ruler? I believe he says it does not, that you can well, still be um, a virtuous ruler even if you're, if, even if you're wicked. What, then, then what is it in particular? about Agathocles cruelty and wickedness that disqualifies him for Machiavelli from being accounted the uh, among the best uh, captains as Machiavelli calls it that the wickedness was unnecessary uh, um, I think he felt that wickedness that is necessary uh, is um, I guess forgivable for lack of another term not really forgivable but you'd still be counted as a uh, as uh, in his eyes a successful leader, but when the wickedness becomes wickedness for its own sake rather than wickedness for the sake of achieving your goal, um, then it becomes a different uh, a different story. Okay, good. Now, is it achieving any uh, any goal? Which goal in particular? Well, uh, military uh, power. Uh, okay, um, military power for the sake of role of power. Yes. A yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, for the good of the good of the state.